let's use this video to talk about some beautiful software applications developed with WS Python. If you log on to this URL or Wikipedia page, if you scroll down to this section, you are going to have a list of applications developed based on WS Python. Another URL you can visit to have a list of beautiful desktop applications based on WS Python is this particular wiki page on WS.org. So if you scroll down, the list is huge. There are so many open source software applications you can access to have a feel of some of the powerful features of our WS Python. So this particular video is actually going to serve two purposes. The first is that I have randomly collected some software across the internet that I'm going to demonstrate the future of our WS Python to you. And also the second purpose is for you to learn from what other developers have done with WS Python. So the first software we're going to take a look at is the WX demo, which of course, as at the moment of writing this writing or recording this video, is not available for Python 3. That is a WX Python Phoenix. So I'm using Python 2 for this tutorial series. And I've installed an Aquanda Python, which I got from continue neom.io slash downloads so when you download WS python demo from this url and install you are going to have the direct path to the demo folder just like this the way i have it here that is if you are using anaconda python or if you are using the normal Python 2 from the python.org website. The URL should probably look similar to this link below. So when you install WS Python demo, you can actually launch it directly from the shortcut icon on your desktop. Or you can access the demo folder just the way I'm going to do now. So I'm going to access my WX demo part and then the main folder or the main file that will run the entire demo is called main so you search for the main file and then open it with your text editor so the content of the main file contain about 3000 lines of code here I'm going to run it by going to the tools, then build, or simply press Ctrl B on your keyboard. So the WX Python demo is now launching. So by the time you launch it, you are going to have this interface. So the entire interface you are looking at now is actually developed by WX Python library. So you can go through the bunch of demos available here or you can use the search search bar space here to search for specific demo you may look you may want to take a look at let's search for buttons and see take a look at some of the available buttons in double x demo so these are all different types of buttons that can be created using the WX Python. So from the tab, you can see the demo and then you can also see the demo code. So WX Python demo is actually a very powerful piece of software you can refer to at any time during your software development using WS Python library.
Now let's take a look at the second software I have for you, which is the Tax Coach. So Tax Coach can be downloaded from this URL here at taxcoach.org. And the software, as you can see from the bottom of the page, is powered by Python, WS Python, Nova Icon, Inno Setup, and then so Search. So if you go to the download page, you should be able to download tax code for different operating systems, including Windows. And you can also download the source code for the software, which I have done here. So this is the source code I downloaded from the website. And then this is the installer I also downloaded from the website. So install after installing the installer, when you launch the software, you are going to have the tax coach just like this. So the entire the whole of this interview you are seeing was developed by Python using the WS Python library. So after the tax coach, another software I would like you to take a look at is the crime analytics for space and time cast this was actually developed by arizona state university so if you type crime analytics for space and time in google search you come up with this uh, url which is the official page for the cast software so the cast software was developed with python and as you can see the screenshots of the interface of the software if you go to the download page software you are going to see the available softwares developed by arizona state university and the one we are more concerned with is this crime analytics for space and time and as you can see the language used to develop the software is python together with a c plus plus and don't forget that WS Python is based, is a binding of for C++ WX widget in Python. So you can download the software here, which I have done. Here I download the software and I've installed it. And let me show you the interface on my desktop. So this is the interface. Of the crime analytics analytics space and time software which is based on WS Python so you can do so many things it's actually a GIS based software so let me quickly demonstrate demonstrate to you by adding a shape file so this is a shape file I had on my desktop I downloaded and saved on my desktop and as you can see, I've added it into a software developed with a WS Python. So it's as, it's as simple as, as that. Then another, the next uh, software I'm going to talk about is uh, Timeline. So Timeline can be accessed from this uh, URL. On the sourceforge.net uh, website so if you go through the page you will get to know more about a uh, timeline so it's actually a cross-platform application for displaying and navigating events on a timeline so if you go to the download page At this URL you should be able to download the window binary and also the source code which is available on this page as you can see the instruction dependency you need Python you need WS Python so the timeline I will be downloaded on my desktop and as you can see this is the installer and then this is the source code. 
So if you access the source code, you will see all the available files that made up the software. And you can you are free to go through the source code to learn from what the developer has done. So let me open up the source, the main file with my text editor, and then run it from here to see the content of the timeline application. So this is the timeline application running on my desktop. I can click on help, get content about. So in the course of this video series, we are going to see how to develop some of these uh, interfaces. So that is that about timeline. Then the next uh, software I'm going to talk about is a map tutor developed by Daniel Cooper at this uh, URL. So this is the application I, do I downloaded. The download link is available here on this page. On this URL, you can download the map tutor. So let's take a look at the map tutor. So this is the content of the folder I downloaded. And as you can see, it has different files, including images and so on. So let's run the main file. Right click, open the main file in the text editor and go through it. So this is the content of the main file. So let me run it, Control B to run. This is the interface of Map Tutor, developed by Daniel. Daniel Gopa is the developer of this uh, little application. So this is the about. And you can see this menu is not active, but if you start the program and then select the operation, the menu becomes active. So it's a little map tutor application. Option exit to close the program. So the last but not the least on the software I'm going to show you that we are developed based on the Blast Python is the Geographic Resource Analysis Support System. So this is a popular open source GIS software that can be downloaded from this uh, URL, grass.osgo.org. So if you go here under the download software you can select your specific operating system and then download so this software is based on wx python so if you start if you have installed the grass on your pc if you start it it should be presented with this interface so if you configure it and start the grass section you will get something like this. So here is the typical interface of a grass software. And as you can see, it's very much complex compared to others I've shown you in this video. About, you should see the about dialog box with lots of information. can open the help manual this should open up in a web browser on your local machine so from the help manual you can see that the graphical user interface is WXGUI so if you open it up 
you should be able to see the content of the WS GUI. So as you can see here, Grass is written in Python using WS Python. So and if you want to start Grass, these are some of the commands you can issue to work with Grass. So if you're familiar with GIS, especially the open source GIS, you should be familiar with a geographic resource analysis support system. Grass software you have been using was developed based on WS Python. So this is what I have for this video. I hope you do enjoy my presentation.